Omaha Gives teams up with the IOS Foundation and Pottawatomie County Community Foundation for an annual donation drive. That begins our coverage in News Around the Bluffs. The second annual Pottawatomie Gives event takes place on Wednesday, May 25th. During the 24-hour event, donations are taken and given to local nonprofit of the donor's choice. This year's event rates over $170,000 more than its inaugural event. And what's encouraging about all that is that these nonprofits, they need help. They, they want to continue to meet the needs that they have out in the community. And by participating in Potawatomi Gives and getting, you know, over $700,000 coming into their charities, it's just a tremendous success for Potawatomi Gives. This year, approximately $732,000 were given to a combined 80 local nonprofit organizations. The historic General Dodge House opens up a new exhibit showing a part of Dodge's impact in Council Bluffs that might not be well known. The Dodge House officially opens its newest display on Thursday, May 26. The exhibit features a replica of General Dodge's office at Council Bluffs Savings Bank, including pictures, furniture, and money that was used at the bank. I think the bank employees were excited about it. I don't think a lot of them maybe were aware of how much General Dodge had part of that original bank. And then once you started seeing pictures and um, letters and different uh, marketing memorabilia that came out, it was pretty exciting for them, too. The Dodge House is also offering free admission to active military members through Labor Day. The museum hours are 10 to 5 Tuesday through Saturdays and 1 to 5 on Sundays. Wrapping up news around the bluffs with music kicking off Lust Fest, attendees get a chance to rest their ears and enjoy a nice bike ride. Bike the Bluffs takes place Tuesday, May 31st. The ride, stops at, the ride starts off at Tom Hannafan Rivers Edge Park before taking a 21-mile course around the city that includes stops at local businesses and Lake Manawa before returning to the park. I think they're really excited, especially with the weather breaking the way it was, and we have a couple of uh, costume characters just, you know, enthused a lot of folks in terms of what they could see and do uh, with the bike ride. The bike ride is part of this year's Lust Fest activities. We'll get a look at what's to come in our events calendar.